So recently, OnePlus dropped a bombshell in China. The OnePlus 15 has officially arrived, and it's packing a mind-blowing 7300 mAh battery. Yeah, you heard that right, 7300. That's not just big, that's monster-level battery power in a flagship smartphone. But it also got me thinking, when will we see batteries like this in iPhones, Galaxies, or Pixels? Why are these brands still stuck at 5000 mAh, while Chinese phones keep leaping forward? The Galaxy S25 Ultra carries a 5000 mAh cell, and the iPhone 17 Pro Max isn't far off. Meanwhile, Chinese brands like Red Magic, OnePlus, and Honor are casually throwing 6000 to 7500 mAh batteries into phones that are only slightly thicker. Sure, design plays a role, everyone's chasing ultra-thin devices. Apple's iPhone Air, for instance, is only 5.6 mm thick, but that slimness costs you battery life barely over 3000 mAh. On the other hand, the Red Magic 11 Pro is about 8 mm thick, and packs 2.5 times the capacity with wireless charging included. That's a trade-off most users would happily take. But there's more behind this than design. Regulations are a big part of the story. International transport laws treat any lithium-ion battery above 20 watt-hours, which is around 5400 mAh, as a Class 9 dangerous good, meaning higher shipping costs, special packaging, and loads of paperwork. That's why global brands keep battery sizes under this limit. So how do Chinese companies still ship 7000 M8 monsters? Simple, they use dual cell batteries. Each individual cell stays below the 20 watt hour mark, so it technically passes as a small battery under transport rules. Then comes the silicon carbon revolution. This new tech mixes silicon into the graphene anode, and silicon can hold up to 10 times more charge than lithium. In theory, that's huge. But silicon swells when charged sometimes by 300%, which can crack or even destroy the battery. Chinese brands are ahead here too, experimenting with coatings and nanostructures to control this swelling. Honor is already in its fourth-gen silicon carbon tech, and the OnePlus 15 reportedly has 15% silicon in its battery anode. So, when do we get 7500 mAh batteries in iPhones? Sadly, not anytime soon. The reason is money. Apple, Samsung, and Google have poured billions into graphite-based battery production. Switching to silicon carbon means new tools, new supply chains, new software, and new safety certifications. It's a logistical nightmare and an expensive one. The real question now is when will the big players catch up? Because if Chinese phones can fit 7500 mAh batteries today, there's no reason iPhones and Galaxies shouldn't be able to do the same in the next few years. Anyway, that's it for this one. Let me know in the comments what you prefer, a thinner phone or a monster battery like this.